1966 TV series Batmobile. That's the Batmobile that most adult collectors recognize as being the, uh, the real Batmobile. We were really lucky to get it as a 2007 new model. Shoot, 40 years after the TV show, you know, the word was that there was wrangling over the rights to the actual Batmobile design. Did George Barris own the rights? Did the movie studios own the rights? Did DC own the rights? So it was pretty awesome to get it reissued, or finally issued, as a die-cast model in 2007. In 2000... Oops, wrong one. In 2009... We did get one variation with faster than ever wheels. Same car, just faster than ever wheels. Nothing different. So, of course, you got to get that one too. And uh, I think there's uh, pretty tight uh, limitations as to, uh, you know, colors being made. Even though there were a couple convention cars, there was a uh, silver one, silver chrome, a gold chrome. Uh, one of these days I'll open those up, but um, Redline Club, they also released a, a nice special, let me get this out, nice special Batmobile, metal base, metal body, they're Redline Neo Classic tires, yeah, this one's sweet, had to get this one, these were uh, $15 plus $5 shipping, something like that. This one wound up being produced in quantities of 13,428. Kind of high, but um, nonetheless, uh, looks fantastic with those classic redline tires. And look, we got extra tampos, got red tampos in the back on the top, got clear window instead of the blue windows, got tampos in the front. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it's a metal base. We'll check that out in a minute. Oh, yeah, 2012. Got a reissue of the TV Batmobile for uh, collectors, newer collectors who weren't around for that one. This one showed up at Walmart. This was a dollar nine, dollar eight, dollar seven, something like that. So pretty cool, almost a regular retail price. And then you get a special Batmobile Batman card. And of course, this had these other cars in the series. I'm pretty sure I did a. Oh, well, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't do a video on all the cars. I'm gonna have to check. But uh, let's see, we'll put this one away. So there you have the, the first edition. Here you have a special Redline Club model. And then, winter 2012, we have classic TV series Batmobile. Mattel's releasing an entertainment series. So there's uh, several cars going to be in the entertainment series. And in the first assortment, we got the Ecto, we got the uh, Kit Knight Rider, we got the Mystery Machine, and was that it? One, two, three, four, and TV. I might have missed one. But uh, anyways, this one looks like it's got rubber tires. You know I'm going to have to open it up, check it out. Plus, I'm curious if the base is metal. Going to have to get the turntable. Be right back. So here we have the first edition, or new models, 1966 TV series Batmobile. I've already opened one up, used them in some of my videos, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one for display. I'm not going to open up another one. Let's go ahead. I'm going to save the uh, classic TV series, the new one for last, because uh, I've been dying to open up a uh, Redline Club Batmobile, and I think today is the day. Couldn't, uh, can't think of a better time than now. I get to enjoy it. You guys get to enjoy the presentation and get to see the difference between the different versions. You get to make the decision. Do you want to uh, pay the extra money for the different versions? Because when you just look at it, uh, these red line clubs were hard open. When you just look at it, at a glance, you might just say, yeah, it's the same. I mean, it doesn't look that much difference, but uh, I think so. All right, let's go ahead and open up this one too, and we'll look at all three at the same time. There we go, all three models. Now, Redline Club, you can tell that one because it's got red stripe wheels. And then here's the new 2012, winter 2012, 2013 release. 
Let me see if I can get this stand up in the back there. So, let's take a look. First edition, new model, had plastic base, made in Malaysia, has your uh, basic five spoke wheels. The Redline Club version had the uh, Neo Classic wheels. Actually, might have some suspension, but it kind of does. If someone knows, I don't, I can't keep track of uh, which Redline Club releases have been axles and which one don't. I don't think they uh, make the extra tooling, but maybe they did because they put a metal base on this one, put a metal base on it, and so maybe they did put a uh, bent axle in there. I'm not sure. And then let's check out what wheels they put on the entertainment. There you go, rubber tires. Very nice. I know adult collectors love the rubber tires, and I like rubber tires too. Sometimes when I say I don't buy that, that much uh, rubber tire stuff, I don't buy that much. It has to be worth it for me. And for a Batmobile, TV Batmobile, I'm going to spend five bucks. So uh, you can tell. Clear window, I mean blue window. Then we got clear and clear. This one, another difference. The center uh, siren or whatever this part is right here. Just piece of the plastic. They didn't do anything special with it. But as you can tell with the Redline Club version on the left and the entertainment version on the right, they painted the one on the right black. Actually, I was looking at it this way. And it looked like it might be a piece of plastic here. Let me check. While you're while you're gawking at that one, let me check. Okay, I'm back. It just looks like this is uh this is painted. So the entertainment piece. The center area is painted a flat black, and the Redline Club version, it uh, looks like it's just painted a uh, thin black, because a thin layer of black, because you can see right through it. You can see the red right through it right there. But let's see what other details we got for the entertainment. Entertainment, it's not the, uh, it didn't get special dots here on top. If you look right there. Red dots on the Redline Club version, no dots on this version, but they do have paint on the front. Kind of looks like lipstick to me, but I don't know what about you guys. Looks the same. Oh, we got some red parachutes. Got some gray parachutes. Very nice. Oh yeah, what about the base? Metal base. Oh. This entertainment series is going to be a surefire hit. I'll bet you all four of the first models are going to be sold out everywhere. I didn't want to take a chance. I went ahead and just bought a case online. Uh, you guys might want to think about the same. Just search. But uh, it's going to be real hard. They're probably going to be available at all retailers that we're selling, like the uh, Boulevard. These are probably going to be $5. These are going to be $5 cars. And you have to decide if it's worth it for you. For me, five bucks, sure thing. Licensed models, fantastic decals, uh, you know, real TV properties. These are the nice cars that are, when you have them in your collection, you know, you can show them to friends and whatnot, and they recognize right away what it is, and they can appreciate it as well. If you'd like to see if I have any feature videos on any of these four cars, just click on them. Or search for Race Grooves Mystery Machine, Race Grooves Kit, Race Grooves Ecto, or Race Grooves Batmobile. Bye-bye.